family. I have come on to do a video. I have to do this shit. Because, nigga, excuse me. This shit got my ch high chop so tough. I don't even understand this right here. So, I hear that Gladys Knight is now suing her son for all these hundreds of thousands of dollars because, nigga, you stealing from your mama? I mean, let's just digest this right here for a minute. Nigga, you take from your mama. You ain't good for nobody. When you take it from your mama, nigga, that's a hell of a character flaw right now. And not only that, mama now is suing you. She want her, I want all my little, all my little pictures and shit up off the wall. And I want all my this and that and this and this and this. See, we, I, I haven't had the, uh, the privilege of dining at your restaurant. You know, to my understanding, it's one in, um, I guess they're in Atlanta. But then, too, I think somebody told me it was one in Vegas as well, I believe. But I haven't had the privilege of dining at your restaurant. I haven't. But to see this, and I'm a mom, I, I just can't even imagine. Because if I set my purse, goddamn it, in the kitchen, on the counter, I'd be dead. Y'all motherfuckers better not go in my motherfucking purse. You know what I'm saying? And it's like this as mothers, and you would just think that that's just an automatic. It just goes without saying that, you know, your kids just should not be stealing from you. Taken from your mama? Nigga, you took from your mama. For real? Now, she put her name on the line. She backed it with her money. You know what I'm saying? All this midnight train and Georgia coin. And opened up this restaurant, successful business, you know, and then she allowed you to take care of your family and all this right here. Mama already set, okay? But as a mother, we also want to leave some form of legacy for our children to ensure that they're going to be okay and they're going to be financially sound. But you're taking from me, though. you taking, you taking from me. you fucking up my name, son. That's crazy to me. Oh my God, Miss Gladys. I mean, I can only imagine how your soul hurts. Your heart bleeds. This is my son. And my son took from me? Nigga, you're going to live a hard, long motherfucking life. You reap what you sow. Like my mama used to always say, my, now my brother was in, and my brother's a career felon, you know, in and out of prison, you know. And mothers, mothers, we just have so much resolve, you know. And there was times when my brother would go back and forth to, to jail and my mom would put the house up and stuff like that. And my dad had washed, since washed his hands. He was like, look, I ain't going down there to the prison. I ain't got shit to do with it. I didn't raise him that way. So if he down there, let them niggas buy his top ramen and whatever the fuck else he going to need, I'm not going down now. Okay? But my mama would still be in. You know, my mama would still, you know, take a little money out of her bra and give it to him. And slide some money up under the table. and You know, and all that kinds of stuff. And, and still me. I'm a mother of three. I find myself, you know, because I love all my children the same. But you, you get different relationships with each and every one that, you know, your repertoire is going to be a little bit different with this one. You know, your, you know, your... Exchange is going to be a little bit different with that one. You know, that's just the way that it is. Not to say that you love them any less. You don't want to. But when they do something as heinous as this, it's like, damn, nigga. Out of all the shit I done done for you, now you stealing from me? You fucking up my name. Okay? You fucking up my name. I worked so hard for you and your siblings, and you fucking up my name. You stealing from me now? Now you got the IRS coming through talking about... They want to see some shit. One point such another million. You're going to live a hard life. And like my mama used to always say, honor thy mother and thy father and thy days will be long. You're going to suffer, brother. You're going to suffer, man. That's fucked up. How in the fuck can you deal with yourself with this? You're going to take from your mama? Any woman fuck with you, 
it's really it, her, her shit ain't ain't but lukewarm neither to be fucking with you because if you fuck over your mama you will fuck over anybody really real shit you do something to your mama you do something to anybody you mistreat your mama nigga you mistreat anybody you came from her and you gonna take from her and here she's allowed you to be under the umbrella of her name and all of her experience and all this grandness and all that she is and you're going to turn around with your highfalutin ass and you're going to take from your mama nigga you're going to suffer I don't I don't wish upon that on your life I'm not even it ain't for me to say so excuse me father God because I don't want to put this on this man but you reap what you sow and you wrong for that one Miss Gladys, I am so sorry. I know, I know you just, oh my God, like, you know, Patty, she coming out with her motherfucking uh, peach cobblers and shit now, and Rita, uh, she coming out with her this and that, you know what I'm saying, and, you know, and here you've been, you, you, you've been having this restaurant thing going for a minute now, but then your son gonna come in and try to fuck up your legacy with some shenanigans. Mama, I know you mad. I know, listen, I know that you're mad. And I feel it too. You know what I'm saying? That's just horrible. You know? Wow. Best wishes. Handle it, Father. Bless it further. On that note, family, I'm gone. Bye.